On your mark. Get set. Go! The first of these two teams to slither across the stage in these oversized bags will creep into the lead winning $20. And control the only game show that doubles your dollars when you double the dare. Double dare. And now, here's your double dare host, Mark Summers. Thank you very much. Wow, what a good audience. Welcome to Double Dare. Thanks, Harvey. This is the only show that dares you to win eight great prizes with a run through our crazy obstacle course. Only one team gets that chance. Let's meet today's four players. Starting off with the Eagles, Nicole and Chris. Round of applause for them. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole tells me she's on the track team. Tell me what other good things you told me about that. Um, we were undefeated last year. Congratulations. That's very nice. And what events did you run? I ran the sprints and the relays. Good. And Chris uh, had a similar situation with what kind of team? Track team, same track Same track team. team. Oh, good. We have sort of a double team going on here. You play basketball? Yeah. And uh, on a regular basis or just around the, uh, the house or what? On a team and around the house. Good. All right. You have 20 bucks. We'll talk about that in just a second. We need to say hello to a team that calls themselves the Care Bears, Bill and Missy. <laughs> Why'd you bow your head when we said the Care Bears? You think that's a silly name? Is that? Yeah. Well, I like it. I think it's a good name. Uh, Bill, <laughs> I do. What can I tell you? Bill tells me he likes to have fun. What exactly does that mean? Just what I say. Just what he says. <laughs> you remind me a little bit. You look like Robbie Benson, and you have similar sort of traits. You're very quiet, low key, but he's rich, so maybe you'll be rich today as well. Maybe. And Missy's a cheerleader. <laughs> likes to dance. What kind of dancing? Jazz. Sounds good to me. We're uh, going to get you a chance to win some money, and you guys will win some more as well. Let me tell you how we do that. On Double Dare, a right answer gets you dollars, but a dare gets you double, and here's how that works. Now, I'm going to ask a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you could dare them for double the dollars, but be careful because they can always double dare you back for four times the bucks, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. $20 over here for the Eagles, Nicole and Chris, they have control. In what city does TV's Night Court take place? Los Angeles. Los Angeles is incorrect. It's New York City. No money changes place, but control goes over here to the Care Bears. Chance to get on the board with a $10 question. In 1953, Walter Annenberg founded this magazine that gives you the guide around the airwaves. What is it? Damn. All right, $20 to the Eagles. 1953, Walter Annenberg founded this magazine that you probably use to guide yourself around the airwaves. What is it? Double dare. $40 over here to the Care Bears, give you the lead. Walter Annenberg, 1953, came up with a magazine that guides you around the airwaves. Tell me what it is. We'll take the physical challenge. Really? TV Guide. Well, everybody reads TV Guide. You can see Double Dare listed in there every week, as a matter of fact. Why don't we come over here and play a physical challenge for $40? <laughs> right over here. How nice. You do that so well. Now, we have used these mechanical arms on our show for various things, and uh, we have picked up uh, jelly beans and all sorts of wonderful things. Boy, look at that pig. You want to put that down there for us? This is uh, no, I wouldn't do anything that bad. Come on. Uh, yeah, that's, that's nice, a little pig. And what you have to do is pick up these quarters with these mechanical hands and place three of them inside. All right, now you can work together. If you want to pick up one like this, and then give it to your friend to do sideways. If you think you can do it like that, that's what you need to do. I made it look very easy. Hopefully, it'll be easy for you. $40 at stake and the lead. You have 30 seconds to put three quarters in. On your mark, get set, go. All right, get those quarters in there. It's very difficult. Uh, OK, do what you have to do. Use, OK, now, yeah, use the other hand maybe. To, that's it. There you go. That's one. You got 18 seconds. Congratulations, they get 40 bucks. The Care Bears take the lead by 20. That was very clever. You caught on how to do it and uh, put you in the lead and control of uh, still into round one. Here's your next question. According to the Jewelry Industry Council, what gift do you give on the first wedding anniversary? Dare. $20 here to Nicole and Chris. According to the Jewelry Industry Council, what gift do you give on the first wedding anniversary? Would tie the score. Double dare. Forty dollars back to Bill and Missy. What do you give on the first wedding anniversary, according to the Jewelry Council? The challenge. You, you give them the, the physical challenge. No, you give them a clock. All right, we are familiar with this 
episode. Let's step down over here and do another physical challenge worth 40. Oh, yes. Michael Klinghoffer, who is our director, loves this. And because he loves it so much, you're going to get a chance to love it, too. We call this Wubber Ducky Dunk. And uh, we have 15 Wubber Duckies. And we're going to ask you to dunk them any way that you know how. You can use your face, your arms, your body, anything that you want. But I have to count for three seconds that all those suckers are drowned. All right? That's what we need. We need to just bombard those little turkeys. Huh? Okay? So push them in with your hands, with your elbows, with your face, whatever you have to do. But you've got to keep all of them down for three seconds. All right? They do float. That's right. And you see, if you do that, he just kind of pops right up. All right? So you have to really... What I'm telling you is you got to get wet here, guys, okay? you got to get wet, all right? Don't be afraid. Uh, jump in. Hey, I didn't say you couldn't do it. All right, you got 30 seconds. On your mark. Get set. Go! All right, let's see what this <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. All right, you got to get those ducks under there. This guy's going to go for the money. you got 21 seconds. Okay, just like water off a duck's back, folks. That's what it's like. Okay, we're going to add $40 to their score. It brings them up to 80. When you said, can I jump in there, I didn't really think that you, but you did it anyway. And just come down here. Watch how he's drying off, folks. Just do that again. Just kind of shake around like you're doing. Yeah, that's great. All right. I wanted to make sure he was doing it the right way. $80 over here, $20 over here. Here's our next question. In 1654, the first one of these was built across the Newberry River in Rowley, Massachusetts. Was it a toll bridge, a draw bridge, or a covered bridge? Can you repeat that? Sure. A 1654, first one of these was built across the Newberry River in Rowley, Massachusetts. Was it a toll bridge, a draw bridge, or a covered bridge? There. $20 over here to Nicole and Chris. Put 40 on the board for you. It was the first one built across the Newberry River in Raleigh, Massachusetts. Was it a toll bridge? What's going on over there? A drawbridge or a covered bridge? Covered bridge? Incorrect. $20 goes over here to the Care Bears. It was a toll bridge. And the toll was for animals only. People got across uh, for free. All right? So control back to the Care Bears with $100. Who is the author of The Butter Battle Book and You're Only Old Once? Go ahead. There. $20 over here to the Eagles. Who is the author of the Butter Battle book or and you're only old once? Double, Double dare. $40 back to the Care Bears. We've seen him jump into water. Do we want to see the next thing he's going to do? Who is the author of the Butter Battle book and you're only old once? Big challenge. Physical challenge. Dr. Seuss. Don't you remember Dr. Seuss? What a great guy he was. Come on over here. This is, uh, this is getting to be old home week for us out here. We have one that we call Marshmallow Rally. We have a basket down here. Hose this audience down. Would you do that, Harvey? Uh, we have a basket over here, and we have some paddles. And we're going to ask you both to step over here. And what you need to do is keep this marshmallow. I want you to take a racket over here. And if you could step around this direction and take the racket. Now, what you have to do is get this uh, marshmallow from one side to the other. But you have to stand next to me, all right? And you have to flip it at least once. So it'll start over here, and then you have to flip it over, OK? And then I can take it like this. And then you've got to get it in the basket, all right? That's all you have to do. You've got to do it twice. You've got to do it twice. And each of you has to touch it at least once. So if you want to flip it over to him once, and then you want to do it once and take it over like that, that's what you can do. You've got 20 seconds to get two in the basket. On your mark. Get set. Go. All right. You can do it. That's good. Now you can take it over. You can take it over yourself now. Take it over. Okay, that's one. You've got 14 seconds. Do it again. Close. One out of two. That means the $40 goes over here. Put 60 on the board. Let's play some more double dare. Came very close that time around. Didn't quite happen, though. That means the Eagles now have $60. They are in control. Very tight game. $40 separating first and second place. What state's name translates as Town of the Large Canoes? I'll give you a hint. Jefferson City is the capital. Missouri? You have 10 additional dollars, up to 70. Missouri is the answer. Jefferson City, Missouri. 
She gets plenty of respect cruising down the freeway of love in a pink Cadillac. She's also known as the Queen of Soul. What's her name? Aretha Franklin. R-E-S-B-E-C-T. That's it, $80. What kind of... We'll get to that in just a minute. That means that is the end of round one. $80 over here for the Eagles, $100 for the Care Bears. We come back in round two. The money's going to double. It's really big. Anything can happen, so stick around here on Double Dare. We'll see you in just a few seconds. Thanks a lot. Welcome back to round two here on Double Dare. That means all the dollar values have doubled, and when you hear this wonderful noise, that means the game is over. We have a very exciting game today. $40 currently at stake and control of round two. It's the famous marshmallow toss here. It's so famous, it's only been, been done once, but it's becoming famous here on uh, Double Dare. What you guys have to do is toss these over into your partner's cup, and you got to get two of those in. And if you do that, you get $40 and control of round two. All right? You know what you got to do. Do it quickly, and you'll take control. On your mark, get set, go. All right, get those marshmallows going in those cups. You can move around any way that you like. Oh, keep going. There's one. There's two. There you go. $40. Let's go play double there. That means the Eagles have uh, taken control. We're just having a great time here. Well, I can't get it. $120 over here for the Eagles, and they are control of round two. Questions worth $20, and we'll just carry on here. What kind of hobby does an actophilist have? Does he collect teddy bears, take acting lessons, or clean file cabinets? An actophilist. Dare. Dare. $40 over here to the Care Bears. What kind of hobby does an actophilist have? Does he collect teddy bears, take acting lessons, or clean file cabinets? Would give you the lead. Um. Double dare. All right, here we go. $80 question now. What kind of hobby does an actophilist have? Collect teddy bears, take acting lessons, or clean file cabinets? Physical take a challenge. challenge. Collects teddy bears. Yeah. yeah, all righty. $80 physical challenge. Come down here, Eagles. Oh, you're going to have fun on this one. This is a great one. We, uh, we all have cereal in the morning, and uh, one thing we don't have in our cereal, hopefully, is these little teething rings, all right? Now, what we're going to do is bury this little teething ring, I prom promise my hands are clean, in this uh, milk, all right? And uh, we'll just bury it, and we'll bury this one, and we've got actually one in each one. And I'm going to ask one of you to put on the blindfold. The other person will, Chris, right away, let Chris put on the blindfold. Okay, Chris. Now, what she's going to do is she's going to guide your head. She's going to kind of dunk it down in there. You have to bite on to that uh, teething ring and drop it in front of the... Uh, plate. Do that three times in 20 seconds. You got 200 bucks total, all right? This is worth $80. Don't be afraid to get dirty and get messy. You can always wipe your face off. All right. You're just dying to do this, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> on your mark. Get set. Go. Get his head down on there. Fight that thing. Get it crazy. Come on. Use your mouth. Use your head. Oh, oh close. Keep using it. Ah, oh, yes. This is an appetizing one, folks. You ever see him spit this cereal out? Go down to the next one. We didn't get the first one. Use your head. Use your head. Oh, so close. Come on, get your face down in there. Go ahead and do it. Just one second left. Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Yeah, oh, there he goes. He finally spit one out. And that does look great to the viewing public at home, I'm sure. Okay, $80 goes over here. Take off your mask. Let's play some more double there. Okay. Added $80 to the Care Bears. They now have $180. $60 separates first and second. Back in control with Bill and Missy. In 1814, the words to which American song were scribbled on the back of an envelope during the bombardment of Fort McHenry? Dare. Dare, $40. Somebody's giving their own uh, version of this out in the audience. In 1814, the words to which American song were scribbled on the back of an envelope during the bombardment of Fort McHenry? Double dare. $80, back to the Care Bears. It was 1814. The words were scribbled on the back of an envelope during the bombardment of Fort McHenry. It's worth $80. Challenge. Physical challenge. The Star Spangled Banner. Oh, yeah. Now you want to clobber yourself, right? All right. We've been down here so much today, but that's fun. We have a good time here. $80. $80 at stake. Uh, this would give them the lead. Uh, don't get all choked up about it. We have a checkerboard here, and it's on top of this uh, helmet. And what you're going to have to do is toss one checker over there and get it to land on the uh, board. you got 15 seconds to do it. Who's going to throw it? You're going to put it on. All right. You toss them over there. You try and keep your head level. Why don't you get down on your knees? That's what we ask you to do. 
And uh, that's exactly where you need to be. Now you want to make sure that your head is level. All right, why don't you come over here just a little. That's where you need to be, just right over there. All right, you got 15 seconds to get one. $80 at stake. On your mark. Get set. Go. All right, just be, oh, so close, so close. Get it on there. Got to do it a little bit harder than that. Keep going. You got nine seconds. You're going to have to keep doing it a little harder than that. Oh. Keep trying. You've got three seconds. It's a seesaw gain. $80 to the other side. Nice try. Quickly, let's play some more. $200, Eagles, you are up by 20, and you are in control of round two. Very quiet. $20 question. A Grammy is an award given in the music business. An Emmy is given to television programs. What is the Tony Award given for? It's worth $20, or you can dare them. Dare. $40 would give you the lead by 20. A Grammy is an award given in the music business. An Emmy is given to television programs. What is the Tony given for? Double dare. Okay, $80. A Grammy is given for the music business, an Emmy for TV. What is the Tony given for? It's worth $80. Physical challenge. Physical challenge. Plays, Broadway plays. Okay, come on over here. Let's do another quickie. Come down quick. All right. We call this one Weatherman, and what we're going to ask you to do is pop some balloons. I'm going to ask one of you to put on our umbrella hat. Who's going to put this on? You will? Okay, let's put on the raincoat first. While we're doing that, let me get the... Uh, chair in place because we're running out of time. $80 at stake, put on the hat. Now what we're gonna do is she'll be sitting down there. You have to guide her. You put her under the chair, on the chair, under the balloon, you say stand. Move her down after she sits saying stand, stand. You gotta do three in 15 seconds. If you do, you have $280. Otherwise the money goes to the other side. All right, Jan, come on over here. Now sit down, don't stand up too much, good. All right, on your mark, get set, go. All right, that's one, okay, move them quickly. Okay, uh, there's two, you got 11 seconds, you got three. Three, that means $80, 280 on their side of the board. Let's move down here quickly. Time is running out. All right, 280 to 180, and that sound means the end of the game. And with $280, the Eagles, Nicole and Chris, have won today's game of double there. Congratulations. More important, they get a chance to go to our Double Dare obstacle course. We'll talk about that in just a second. Care Bears, you were doing great. Lots of physical challenges. However, we didn't get a chance to uh, get back to you anymore. $180, you'll split that. And Harvey's <coughs> going to tell them what great party gifts they're going to get. Harvey? Mark, they'll each get a month's supply of Bonkers candy, the chewy candy that bonks you out. Plus, they'll each get Green Slime Shampoo. Get you clean, won't turn you green. Now you can get slimed in your own shower. Some members of our studio audience get Reebok accessories, watches, t-shirts, and duffel bags from Reebok, because life is not a spectator sport. And now, back to you, Mark. Nicole and Chris have uh, won today's chance at the obstacle course. We're going to start off with the Sunday slide, and I believe Chris is going to go up this thing. Now, be careful when you go up, get stuck in that chocolate. You're in big trouble. You start to slide down. Once you get to the top, you've got to go up those stairs and hit the platform. Come down that slide as quickly as you can. Keep your shoes up because the rubber on your uh, heels slows you down. You're going to fall in that chocolate pudding and that whipped cream and the cherries. Don't forget to stand up and grab that flag. And there's our friend Jeffrey, Jeffrey Giraffe. Tell us what that means, Harvey. Mark, it means a $75 gift certificate from Toys R Us, the world's biggest and best Toy Story, your favorite place to go with thousands of toys and tons of fun in every aisle from Toys R Us. Don't forget to jump up and get that flag, pass it on to your partner. Then they will take the flag and jump over here to the tire swing. Now you can't drag your feet. You got to hold on to the top part and swing all the way across, fall off, grab the flag and win this. Colorful styling products. From Conair, it's high energy, brightly colored styling products, including hot curlers, blow dryer, curling iron and hot comb. High energy by Conair, colors that energize. Number three is our famous rope climb. Be careful going up this thing because it is more difficult than it really looks. Get up there as quickly as you can. And once you get to that green pole, if you can lean over and grab that flag before you come all the way over, you can pass it to your partner and you can win this. The Galaxy Skateboard. A new generation of skateboards, stronger and lighter. These skateboards are constructed of high-tech urethane and fiberglass with aluminum decks. Galaxy Skateboard. Tank is number four today. It's filled with balloons. We have a flag right over here just when you jump in to your left. Don't forget to pass that flag after you grab it. You can pass it before you come out of the tank. You'll pick up time, then come out of the tank and win this. An answering machine. You'll never miss a call again with Panasonic's EasyPhone automatic telephone answering system. Features include simple message playback and tone remote control system, and it's from Panasonic. We refer to this as the messiest minute in television, and you can't be afraid to get messy. We have some mashed potatoes. We have some butter. We have some peas. 
get into this as quickly as you can. Come across, pick up that flag, and pass it before you get out. Oh, what is that fly doing in my butter, waiter? Uh, looks like the backstroke. Harvey, tell them what the winner they get this far. <laughs> <laughs> video cassettes. A selection of video cassettes featuring Bring On the Night, the Rod Stewart concert, and Care Bears 1. Viewing for the whole family, furnished by Carl Lorimar, home video. It was Vincent Price in the butter. Help me. Okay, number six is, uh, is Nightmare. And uh, Nightmare is full of, uh, is full of uh, what is it, feathers. That's it. And there's a flag in there. And you've got to get those feathers out quickly. And you've got to get the flag. And then you're going to get this. A new camera. Explore the wonderful world of photography with a Ricoh XF30 automatic 35-millimeter camera. Simply point and shoot. The Ricoh XF30 does the rest. This is the wall climb. You need to pull yourself over. You can use the rope or you can use this. Pull yourself over. Once you're halfway over, you can do this. Then come over the other side, pass it on to your partner, and you get this prize. A VCR. Now you can record and watch Double Dare whenever you want with this VCR from Sharp. It has eight-function remote, 110-channel capability, and it's from Sharp. Once you pass that flag from the wall climb, that person will come over here and get inside our one-ton human hamster wheel. Walk up this wheel. Keep that thing going quick. Don't stop. I'll tell you to keep going. The quicker you go around, the faster those lights go up. If you hit number six, that boxing glove will come down. It has a flag. If you can leap up and catch that flag in 60 seconds or less, listen to what you're going to receive. A fabulous Disney vacation. The Electric Buena Vista Palace, an official Walt Disney World hotel located in the heart of Walt Disney World Village. You'll dine in award-winning restaurants. Enjoy unlimited transportation throughout the vacation kingdom. Okay, get ready. You got 60 seconds. I think we can get a winner. On your mark, get set. Go! Get up there, boy! Look at that! That's the quickest I think I've ever seen. Come down that slide. Don't forget to get the flag. Get the flag. Get the flag. Get it over there quickly. Okay, you come across and you go on this side. Whoa! All right, out. Get the flag. You come up the rope climb. You come over here on this side. Wait for it. You got 44 seconds. Get over there quickly. You gotta pick up time. You gotta pick up time. Get over there. Get it. Okay, reach on there. You come on up over here. Closely, Harvey's gonna tell you what you got. Mark, they've each got the Toys R Us Christian Ticket, the Con Air assortment, the Galaxy Skateboard, the phone machine, the video cassettes, the new camera, a VCR. They're going to Disney World. A prize package worth almost $3,000 each. You scared the daylights out of me. Nice, Harvey. I didn't think we were gonna make it over. Thank goodness you did. You had a great time. Hope you enjoyed yourself. See you tomorrow on Double Dare. Great job. Great. Every contestant on Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Double Dare, because life is not a spectator sport. This is your announcer, Harvey Zane. See you back here next time for the most mess around on Double Dare.